Hey, what's up everybody? This is Travis with Titans of CNC, and today we're gonna take you through the basics of dialing in high tolerance ODs and IDs. We're gonna be using our Puma 2600 and a fine selection of inspection tools from Mitsutoyo. So in order to dial in our OD and our IDs, the first thing that we're gonna wanna do, even before we do the bar pull, is we're gonna go ahead and offset our tools, both our roughing and our finishing tools. Now the amount that we're gonna go ahead and offset our tools is going to be equal to that of our finish allowance. That is the amount that we save for our finish pass. So in this case, that's gonna be 10 thousandths on my OD tools and 5 thousandths on my ID tools. Now that we have our tools offset, we're gonna go ahead and run through the program and I have an M0 programmed right after I take both my finish passes on the OD and the ID to allow me to check and dial in from there. Now the reason I offset both my roughing tools and my finish tools is so that when the roughing finish is complete, I will have twice the amount of material left over as I normally would. This allows me to take two passes that are exactly the same. This cut consistency allows me to avoid things like unequal tool pressure or other factors that might negatively influence dialing in a very tight tolerance feature. So now we've hit our M0. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna check that finish OD and that finish ID. We'll make our adjustments and we'll bring our part to size. And here we're gonna go ahead and use our Mitsutoyo one to two inch Quantu mic. So the nominal size on this OD is 1.4965 with a tolerance of plus or minus 0 0.0002 or two tenths. And we're at 1.5074. All right, so we have 1.5074 minus 1.4965, which is our desired size. Gives me an offset of 10.9. So I will go over here and I will go to my offset screen. I will go up to my finished tool, tool number four, and I will take off my amount of 10.9 plus input. Looks good to me. All right, now we'll go ahead and check the ID. Okay, so here we're checking our ID with our Mitsutoyo bore mic. And so here we have a call out of 1.438 with a tolerance of plus one minus zero. So let's see, we're at 1.433, call it three. All right, so we have a 1.4385, which is our nominal, minus where we're at, which is 1.4333 gives us a change of 5.2. And so now we're here at the offset screen, but where with the OD we brought the tool in, that is we subtracted our number, here with our boring bar we're gonna move it out because we want our boring bar to move out and cut it bigger. That is, so instead of subtracting our 5.2, we will add our 5.2. Now we have both tools offset. We have our OD tools brought in and our ID tools bumped out. So let's go ahead and run those two passes. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna check my part one more time to make sure that my offsets held in the way I wanted them to. So we'll do the OD first. Again, this is the tighter of our two tolerances. We're looking for a 1.4965 plus or minus two tenths. Ah, beautiful. Check it a couple times. Just check and make sure we didn't have any weird bar wobble. Maybe about 50 million is big, maybe a tenth, but I can live with that. 
Now we'll go ahead and we will check the ID as well. This is 1.438 plus one minus zero, giving us a nominal of 1.4385. I'm gonna say that is just about 1.4385, so can't really complain there. All right, so features are dialed in correctly. We'll go ahead and we'll park her off. I feel you, I feel you. So going forward, there are a couple things to take into consideration. If you only have a few parts to cut, or maybe you're worried about your machine not hitting that same size, you can go ahead and go through these steps again to repeat the process. If you're setting up for a production run and you do trust your machine, go ahead and take those offsets off of your ruffers and hit size the first time. Now, one other little caveat you want to be careful of is depending on sort of your part features and how they're related. Sometimes when you part a feature off, it can cause ODs or IDs to change a little bit. So it may be a good idea to check them one more time before you consider the process dialed in. And so that covers the basics of dialing in an OD or an ID feature. Oh, and if you guys are interested in purchasing any of the tools you have seen today, please go ahead and visit us at our store where you can purchase these and more. So again, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.